Hi everyone, I'm going to be going through a bunch of tutorials where I used Crocodove and seeing as Crocodove is no longer compatible with the DaVinci Resolve 18.5, I'll be going through a bunch of them. I'm going to start with this transition. Let's get to it. Pulled in two clips in here on the timeline. Let me create some handle in front of both of them. At the end of this and the front of that, join it together. Bring in a cross dissolve transition in the middle. Click on that cross dissolve, right click on it, convert it to fusion cross dissolve. And um, let's click on here to open that in fusion. Let's extend media out here. Let's just move this up a little bit. Let's delete cross dissolve. Let's connect this by clicking on there. And let's move media into down here. Let's bring in a fast noise node, drag that to the viewer. We are right now on the single viewer. Now go to contrast, increase that to the maximum. Let's go to color and let's increase the alpha of color one to maximum two. Then for the type of color here, make it gradient. And let's pull this here and let's pull this here. So we have basically one, two, three points here now you may make your own different if you go to fast noise you can just do this differently to create a different shape thing so you see we have one two three four five points here but i'd rather just leave it the way it is here and it's one two three so because we have three distinct shapes here i'm just going to shift space bring in three s polygon nodes that let me just copy this instead of bringing it bringing it in each time Paste, Control V to paste. Now we have three. So for the first polygon, I'm just going to focus on this thing here. I'm just going to click on here, click on here, drag, click on here, click on here, drag, click on here, drag, click on here, drag. Like so, you just click and drag, click and drag. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to have something close to the shape click on here drag and um, let's just click outside here click outside here and join that together so we have the first shape i can just go to the points where it seems not so good like this point here just arrange it a little bit better so it looks smoother yeah i can just press shift s to smoothen what's here and move this like so so it just has a semblance of the shape there. Then we go on to this next one. Click on the next S polygon and click on answer here. Click on here, click on here, click on there, like so. So we do that across all three of them. I'm just gonna speed up this part. Now the next thing we do, we bring in a we bring in an S rect node. And then we increase the width to one and then the height make it make it you know 10 make it 1080 divided by 1920 which is hd uh, this is a hd timeline click on that and then we see how we have a perfect height for that bring in an s merge node connect all these together the s merge node then we bring in an S Boolean node. Make a copy of this. Paste that in here. Connect the rectangle to the S rectangle to the S Boolean node. So pull that up here and connect this S merge to both of the S Boolean nodes. Now for this first S Boolean node, leave it as intersection. For the second one, leave it at subtract. Note that this rectangle is connected to the yellow inputs of the S boolean node. If we drag this S boolean to this viewer, so we have this. If we drag this, you see we have the inverse, inverse of the S polygon. Shift space bar, extrude 3D node, connect to that here. Let's make a copy of this. But before we make a copy of this, let's just drag this viewer. We have this. We want the extrusion depth to be 0 0.05. So if we move around, 
holding down shift and this see we have that then we can copy this and paste that in here connect to this like so and then we have this we bring in the replace material 3d node connect that make a copy of this paste so we have to replace material 3d nodes connect both of them like so let's create a space in between here now let's open the effects tab here go to templates expand fusion go to shaders what i'm looking for is this chrome shader i drag that in here under the replace material node connect that to this replace material connect it also to this replace material so if we drag this to the viewer we have this shiny stuff and this one is also shiny now to put the image for media in one on the face of this we're going to bring in shift spacebar s render node bring that up here like so then after the s render node we're going to bring in a matte control node Then after the matte control node, we are going to bring in an image plane node. Now this S render node disconnected. I want to connect the S render node to the garbage matte input of the matte control node. This is the garbage matte input, right? You can just let me disconnect it. There's a better way to do this. You can hold down Alt on the keyboard, click on this, and drop it on here. Then to show your list, you can just click on garbage matte. Now connect this S boolean here to the input of the S render. Now for this matte control node, go to garbage matte and click on invert. Let's copy the whole of this and paste that here. Connect this here. And then if we drag this here, we have nothing yet because we don't have any input to the, this should have an input. So I'm going to bring in the media in one Click on here and drag it to the yellow input of the mass control node. If I drag this to the view right now, you see we have this here. Now let's hold down Alt to create a pipe here. Click on there, drag it down here. Let's move both of these nodes down here a bit like so. Create some space. Let's move this here. And let's connect this also to the input, yellow input of this mass control node. Like so. So now if we go here and drag this to the viewer, we have this. So now I want to put this on top of this here. So I'm going to bring in a Merge 3D node here. Connect this to Merge 3D, connect this to the Merge 3D. Bring another Merge 3D here. Connect to that here and connect this here. If you drag this to the viewer, you'll see that the image, if I hold down Shift, the image is at the back here. It should be in the front. So to do that, I'll just go to the extrude 3D. Remember the extrude 3D was extruded by 0.05. So I'm just going to go to transform and say minus 0.05. Then add a little extra to let's say 0.07. So we have it in front. So we do the same thing for this. Go to transform tab. Go to the Z I this minus 0.05. Five, let's just put zero seven and then it sits perfectly on top of there. So we have this, then we have this. We bring in transform 3D and let's just make a copy of this and bring in another paste that here, connect this to this, connect that to that. For this transform 3D, I'm going to go to, let's drag this to the viewer. You'll see that if we rotate this along the x-axis, just releasing now along the middle axis, once rotated from this lower part, let's double click on this to reset it. So I'm going to go to the pivot. And for the y-axis, you recall that the height of this was 0 0.5625. Yeah, so I'm just going to half that and drop this by that half. So this is going to be minus 0 0.5625 divided by 2. See, it's, it's just at that bottom part. So I'm just going to round it up to minus 0 0.3. In the z-axis, I'm just going to pull it back by 0 0.06 minus 0 0.06. 
So we have that there. We do the same thing for this. Expand pivot. I know 0 0.06. So now for this first transform, we're going to right click on the X rotation, modify with anim curves. Go to modifiers, set this to 90. Set this to easing. You can set whatever curve you want. Here I'm just in sign and expo. And then the time scale for this, I want it to be two. Now for the next transform, I right click on this, modify with anim curves, go to modifiers, set the scale to 90, the curve to easing, ease in to sign, out, ease out to expo. I leave this as one. And let's bring in a merge 3D node and merge both of them to there. Look at that, we have this going. Click on here, shift space bar, bring in the transform 3D node, set the Z value to 1.3 to one. I will show you what it does, but let's bring in a renderer 3D node here, connect this to the renderer 3D, and let's drag the renderer 3D here. You see that it fits perfectly on the edges. If I go to Transform 3D right now, and I double click this Z to reset, you see that it doesn't cover the full screen. So I've found the magic magic number for HD to be 1.3 to 1 for the Z value if I don't want to use a camera. So now we have that for renderer 3D. I'm just going to do set the renderer type to hardware to make it run a bit faster. Bring in a merge node. Connect this to the foreground of the merge and connect media into to the background of this merge. Let's drag this up so we can see the whole node tree. Let's bring this closer. And um, let's bring this closer too. This fast noise, we don't need it anymore. And then we can connect this to media out. Drag this to the viewer. We have that going. Now, if we now go to the timeline, we can go here and let's play it back. You'll see we can do practically a lot of things with the new node in um, Davish Resolve 18.5 as Polygon. I'll see you on the next one.